G'day guys, Luke from Hunter Podiatry Services here. Um, making up a little video for uh, all our patients uh, and people interested today about uh, ankle joint range of motion. So, ankle joint range of motion, uh, in particular the motion that we call dorsiflexion, so this sort of motion, is a really important motion uh, in the uh, lower limb. Uh, there's been a lot of studies and research out there that suggests and has strong correlations uh, to suggest that a lack or a reduction in ankle joint range of motion can lead to a range of uh, different musculoskeletal pathologies. Um, so it's really important that uh, as an athlete, as a patient, um, that we look at trying to get the most out of our uh, ankle joint range of movement. And that just doesn't go, that doesn't go just for the actual movement, it's the quality of movement as well. We want a nice, full range of motion without any sort of uh, blockages through there. Now traditionally or typically, uh, the way that we've looked at doing that or the way that people look at doing that is trying to stretch. So muscles make up one important part of that ankle joint range of motion and with tight muscles, it's, it's going to restrict your ankle joint range of motion. But one of the other really important things that we have to consider there is the actual joint capsule and the ligament, ligamentous structures that surround that capsule as well. So today we're going to look at, uh, it's, a, it's a mulligans exercise, it's a, a mulligans mobilisation with movement. Now there's a couple of things you're going to need for that, um, either a TheraBand, which uh, you, can, you can pick up from here, or a power band. Uh, these bands are an elastic type band, uh, and we'll show you the exact sort of uh, movement and positioning of the band, so you can get the most out of that, uh, that mulligans exercise. Might pause it just here, and we'll uh, we'll get into a uh, position where I can uh, show you the exercise. Okay, guys. So what you can see here is we've got a uh, this is what we call power band. So it's elastic type band. Really important part is the location of the band. So this movement or this exercise involves blocking a bone called the talus. Now the talus sits in this ankle joint mortis. So we've got what we call the malleoli, the bony parts of our ankle. We want the band sitting below those bony parts and that's bang on the talus. So making sure that it is sitting low, sitting too high and not gonna get the full benefit out of the, uh, out of the exercise. So what we wanna do is we wanna get a fair amount of traction on that band. So you can see if I, I lift my leg up there that the band's wanting to pull me back. Um, I can feel that pressure right over the front of my ankle there, bang on the talus. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a position and load up that ankle joint as much as possible. If you've got a partner to help you, you can always get in around the back of the leg and try and assist with that ankle joint motion through there. Um, always handy to have a little bit of a, a balancing aid, whether that be a chair or a desk or a table to help you out. And then what we're gonna do is 10 to 12 repetitions. And we're aiming to get the knee directly over the big toe. So not coming too medially or into the inside part, not coming too laterally. Trying again, imagining a line going down between the big toe and the second toe. So 10 to 12 of those. And then what we're gonna do is turn ourselves around. I'll do this on the left foot so we can see it a little bit easier on the camera. Again, having that band quite low, making sure it's sitting under those two bony prominences and performing the exact same exercise. You might hear a couple of clicks or cracks, that's, that's okay. And 10 to 12 repetitions. We want to do about two sets, two to three sets of those. So by putting that pressure on the tail, I suppose, posteriorly or at the back, and anteriorly, which is at the front, we allow a movement of the tibia and fibula freely over the tailors. And what you'll find by doing this regularly, you're going to get a huge benefit in terms of your ankle joint range of motion far greater benefit than stretching. I know if, if I was gonna go out for a run or do some exercise, I'd much prefer to spend two or three minutes doing that exercise 
rather than my stretching exercises. Little take home, bit of advice, uh, don't overdo it. If you start to feel any pain or pressure doing these exercises, discontinue the exercises and give us a call. Um, thanks a lot for listening and watching the video and hopefully uh, that may help improve your ankle joint range of motion.